welcome to a video that I'm hoping will leave you feeling quite positive and happy. on Instagram and yes I have managed to make my Instagram a totally happy and positive user experience I think I talked about this maybe a couple of months ago about how I managed to tailor my explore feeds literally just cats cartoons and home decor and flowers and now I can actually spend time on Instagram and feel really really good about it I love cartoons on Instagram and I was having a look at one of my favorite cartoons the other day I'll leave a link to some of my favorite accounts in the description but I was looking at one called I think it's Yang and Fox I believe it's pronounced that way I could be wrong but it is a series of little cartoons that are usually between a fox and an elephant and they have a really good happy wholesome kind positive message throughout and I found one the other day and I did share this to my stories so if you follow me on Instagram you may have already seen this and basically it's uh, the elephant looking through a little box the fox says what are you looking for the elephant pulls out a little bubble blowing contraption and says things that make me happy and I normally don't read the descriptions that the artists write uh, but this one I did read and I'm going to read it to you do you know how to make yourself happy this should have been a simple question but every time that it's asked people pause and that silence says a lot, doesn't it? Imagine that each of us has a mental box of what makes us happy. One we enjoy digging into during happy times and distract us during difficult times. Sometimes this box expands to add more things, other times it becomes smaller when we are certain of what we need in that box. It doesn't matter how messy this box is, but it's important that we know it exists. And when I was reading it, I actually thought instead of mental box, it said metal box like an actual physical metal box. So I had a bit of an interpretation in not so literal to actually go and get a physical metal box, still keep it metaphorical, but I wanted to create this box full of physical things that I could either do or surround myself with that would in turn make me happy. And being that it is the middle of the year and I think it's a great time to reflect on the first six months, your goals, your New Year's resolutions, everything that you wanted to do or change this year, how you're tracking and reevaluate and make new goals. And yes, I'm going to have a few videos in the next coming weeks about mid-year organization and getting yourself back on track or continuing on your journey and today I wanted to create an exercise where we're both going to do this I'm going to sit down in a second with a pen and a notepad and I'm going to make a list of things that I think will bring me joy and happiness in times of need or even when I just feel like being extra happy and I would like you to do the same so I will be sharing my things that I am adding to this happy box I would love for you in the comments down below to let me know some of the things that you would like to add to your happy box and I'm just hoping that by the time we finish this exercise and this video that you leave today feeling a bit more positive and happy so I'm gonna go and get my pen and my piece of paper that definitely bring me joy. The first on my list is flowers. Uh, you'll probably have noticed over the last couple of months that I have been buying more fresh flowers. You can buy little bunches for $5 from Audi, even though there's like four bunches in here, they were $5 each. The markets the other day, at the end of the day, they always do sales. I have just been enjoying flowers, but not just flowers, but even floral imagery in general, which is very unusual for me. I've never really been drawn to that sort of thing. Actually, now that I think of it, I wanted to change my phone case, which will help illustrate what I'm talking about in terms of floral. This is my current phone case. It is see-through with gold flex through it. Absolutely stunning. It's from Velvet Caviar. They sent me like four phone cases last year, and this was the one that I pulled out of the box, but they sent me one that was so unlike the others, and I've decided I'm gonna put it on my phone, so let's do that. This is the phone case here that I wanted to change my phone into. This is very not like me. This is very bright and colorful. I'm not usually a bright, colorful accessories kind of person. But just recently, I just wanted a bit of a change. And I'm just being really drawn to beautiful florals and floral designs. So that's going into, that's the first thing that I'm including into my happy box. I love going to the markets and exploring the flowers that they have on sale. I love floral prints. So there you go. That's the first thing on my list. These cases are so hard to get off. I don't even know where to start. Hard plastic on the outside with a rubber insert. Okay, this feels really weird. I've not had a colored phone case in years. I've always stuck to neutral things. It's blue on the front. This is a bit intense for me. I'm a bit out there. 
I don't know if I like the blue on the front, but I definitely love the yellow and the floral on the back. I'm gonna give this a go, and maybe just having a floral phone case is gonna bring me a bit of joy. I actually feel like I sound insane saying that a phone case is gonna bring me joy, but hey, if it does, it does. The second thing on my list is something I don't actually own yet, but I'm thinking it will bring me some joy. So the other day, I have no idea where this thought process came from. I was at Dan's house and I stood up and I just thought, hey, I love painting, but I can't paint. Maybe I should try a paint by numbers. So the next thing I know I'm searching and I found one and I love it. And of course, it's a beautiful floral design. I think I would like to maybe hang it in my bedroom if I do get it. I don't really know how to tell if it's going to be good quality or not. I think I'm gonna get it because I think having a, a painting activity like that will be something that I can really, really enjoy and put my energy into. And I've not been excited to purchase a little crafty thing like that in a while. I've had coloring in books before, but I just do not feel it's the same for me as painting. Like I think I take much more joy in painting. So I think I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna get a paint by numbers. Next thing on the list is back to the Instagram and is of course the cartoons. I think the cartoons on Instagram are such a quick fix for me. When I am feeling stressed or a bit overwhelmed, I do just jump on and I read these really good wholesome sometimes funny cartoons and I feel like my issues melt away so I'm really happy that I've been able to find that in something like social media and in Instagram they're just such a feel-good thing to look at okay I have to get something to show you okay Next on the list is another activity book. This is a word search book. I got this from Aldi the other day. They're all different kinds of activity books, but I decided to get the word search because I felt like that would be much more suited to me. There's over a hundred different things in this book and I've done maybe about 10 of them. I just use my highlighters and it's quite an enjoyable activity. So this is going into my metal box if I actually had a metal box. Something else that I enjoy now that I think about it, I really don't like the blue on the front of my case. I know this is weird, but I just prefer a neutral phone case. Anyway, the, the, the thing that I do love is having a bit of a social detox. I have been not replying to barely any messages at the moment, and it's not because I'm trying to be rude or I don't want to talk to people, it's just because I'm really enjoying not engaging on my phone and my device. And I think it's so important to have times or days or weekends where you just kind of ditch the technology and the digital and do some other things instead. Another one on the list is getting out into nature and into the sun. You probably can't really tell, but today is the most miserable and cloudy day and it's just, it's not bringing me joy. But over the long weekend, Dan and I spent one afternoon going out for a little picnic. We packed a little picnic basket and we went up to the botanic gardens and we made a little picnic, sat in the afternoon sun. There were still beautiful autumn leaves and colors everywhere, the city skyline, and it was just perfect. Like if you had jackets and you were kind of rugged up, it was warm enough, it was relaxing, it was quiet. And I laid there and just looked at the trees and it was just the most amazing experience. And I'm like, why don't I do this more often? So that one's going on the list as well. Something else on the list that is a little bit odd for me anyway, because I never thought I would put this on my list and that's going to the gym. However, I don't actually think it's the actual like process of being at the gym and lifting weights or being on the treadmill. It's not that, it's there's something about the gym that I go to that is like a vault from the rest of the world. When I walk in there, the rest of the world stays at the door. It is the only place that I have in my life, in my world where everything is just on the outside of those walls. I don't know what it is. I could be in there and doing nothing. I could be sitting on the couches being on my phone. I could be watching the TVs in there. I wouldn't actually have to be working out. That's why I don't think it's the act of working out. It's just something about that building that's just like all my problems disappear. And I just, when I'm feeling down, the last thing I wanna do is go to the gym, but I really need to force myself knowing that when I walk through those doors, all the problems just stay there and I can go off into this land of just, everybody's just doing the thing, trying to be a little bit healthy and I don't know, that's the best way I can explain it. It's just the one place where all problems are left at the door. Another of my favorite things that you probably are well aware of is cleaning. And cleaning, for me, I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't just do it to make videos. I actually genuinely enjoy cleaning. And here's why, because when I'm cleaning my house and I am tidying things up, not only am I making my space feel good, it's a way of me feeling like I am in control. If I am not feeling very well or feeling upset, it's probably because I'm not feeling in control of my life. And when I clean, I have full control. And that's just the way that I feel like I'm getting my life together, that I'm getting a hold of everything. And 
feeling in control. And the last thing that really brings me joy, and this is something that I have really connected emotionally with feeling better, is pouring myself a cup of tea. Not coffee, but tea. When I'm feeling stressed, I make a cup of tea. And when I'm really stressed, I'll make 20 cups a day. And it's just because I have associated the warmth and getting one of my favorite mugs, because I love collecting mugs. I've actually run out of space in my cupboard and I need to work out what I'm going to do. Maybe declutter some. But when I, you know, get my mugs, that's what I've associated with uh, feeling calm and feeling a bit better. So that's definitely one of the things on my list. So this list might expand and I might add new things to it, but I also may take things off it if I find that they're not bringing me much joy. So I just wanted to share that with you today. I hope this exercise and this video has left you feeling really positive and happy because that's all I really want for today. And do you know what? I'm really excited to get back into making videos. It's been ages thanks to uni and everything that's been going on and I just, I've been really ready to get back in and make some good videos for you. So uh, off the top here, you can check out my last video down the bottom. I will leave a link to another one of my videos and I will see you in the next one.